Peterson, the Reston Association Watershed Manager. Um, out here at another site that we worked with, with the VCAP program in Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District. Um, right here we have this narrow little strip of land, um, which could be a great example if you are in a, a cluster or a home um, housing community where you might have um, slight little areas of land between two different houses or, or townhome units. And what this area is, is an access point for people to go down this hill and, and get to a trail. Unfortunately, it is on a fairly um, decent slope. Plus, um, if you looked over here, you would see that there's a driveway that's also on the slope. Um, and all of the drainage from that driveway and that house gets redirected into this area. So we had a little bit of a stormwater runoff issue. Because we were uh, limited in the amount of space and we wanted it to not impact people accessing this area, um, we worked with um, Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District um, on an infiltration trench. And what essentially it is, is the water is um, directed through this small rock swale um, to this infiltration trench. And essentially it's a grate with a box. The water fills up, there's a rock area that's hidden um, and buried behind it and it slows down the water and helps it infiltrate into the ground um, thus preventing it from continuing to erode out the area behind us. All right. So I'm Dan Schwartz with the Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District. Uh, to follow up on uh, what Will has already said, I, I took part in some of the initial design consultation for this project. So, as Will mentioned, we've got this rocky swale which brings in runoff from the neighboring property, from their driveway, from their roof. And before, it tended to just flow through here and then wash down the hillside and wipe away all the, the mulch and, and soil that was on that walking path. Now it goes into this catch basin. And this catch basin attaches by a pipe underground to the actual infiltration trench. So this is really the only part of the trench that's visible, but it's a very small part of it. This is just the entrance to the trench itself. As Will mentioned, a trench is uh, a good option for folks who have small spaces to work with, need to keep the place open, or for whatever reason don't want to have a stormwater facility that's visible from the surface. The trench itself is actually underground right here. It's a very large pit full of gravel, nothing really more complicated than that. As water from the catch basin flows through the pipe into the pit of gravel, it percolates down through that gravel and then eventually percolates down into the soil below. So it both recharges the groundwater, which is a benefit, and of course it takes all the water that was running off the surface and puts it down into the ground where it's not gonna cause erosion. Now in order to put an infiltration trench onto your property, you have to have good soil. And a lot of people tell us, well, I've only got red Virginia clay. Well, a lot of times that is true, but oftentimes if you dig down deep enough, three and a half, four feet or so, you'll find that below that red Virginia clay, you do get some fairly nice sandy stuff. So infiltration trenches are an option for quite a few people around here. Uh, for those of you who have high groundwater or really, really sticky clay to a very high depth, it may not be the best option for you. But for the rest of us, and that's for probably the majority of the county, an infiltration trench could work quite well. And as you can see, it's a nice option if you want it out of the way, under the ground, and something that's not visible.